Hi, I'm David Page. Welcome to Use of Force Accountability. In today's episode of How to Cop, I'm going to talk about why dog piles are always excessive force. It just got real. A 20-year-old man with autism was tased by police. Officer shot a 13-year-old boy with autism spectrum disorder. Officers who tased a man with autism. Why did police use a stun gun on her son who has autism? <laughs> This video is from the Denver Post. Be sure to go to the channel and give them the credit that they deserve. Now let's take a look at this uh, quick little scene here and see what happens. Okay, I want to know what this guy is doing with the stick. Why does that guy have a stick? Oh, oh. There it is right there. What is this? What the hell is this guy doing? I have never seen anything like this. If anyone has any idea what the hell this guy is up to, please let me know. Turn on, get caught. Help! 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 Run, 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 Someone tell Paige! Someone! Please! Alright, so um, this is very common to uh, hear in these videos. Uh, the, the officers will be, stop resisting, stop resisting! And the, the guy is like, I'm not resisting, or they're screaming for help. Now, someone screaming for help is not resisting. Now, the reason I'm talking about this today is I have been in the red man suit. Uh, here it is right here. Now, what the red man suit is, is, of course, a protective thing. And uh, I was uh, involved in a cell extraction where I was the uh, inmate. And um, the goon squad, of course, you know, put together all their shields and all their body armor and everything else. And uh, went in the cell and dragged my butt out and uh, restrained me. Now, what is interesting about this is... I went completely limp as soon as they went in the cell because, frankly, I didn't trust the officers I was with not to hurt me, even though we had all this equipment on and so forth, and this was a training thing. Um, I did not trust them not to hurt me, so I went completely limp. Now, afterwards, one of the officers looked at me and said, you put up a pretty good fight there, which has always stuck in my mind. And the reason is this. I was completely limp. The th problem was, is when you have six officers pulling on your body in six different directions, as one officer is pulling in this direction, then the, uh, the um, officer on the other side says, oh my goodness, this officer, or this, it makes resisting. This is milliseconds going through the mind. So they start pulling in even harder. And then you've got the guy at the head that starts pushing even harder because he feels resistance coming from everywhere. The cops are fighting themselves. And the other problem is, is uh, you'll see in a lot of these uh, street videos that the uh, cops just love to do pain compliance uh, 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 holds and so forth to get pain compliance. Now, well, what they're doing is they are causing more force to be used. Because in this point in time, everyone's adrenaline is sky high. And if you look at these videos, as soon as these guys, uh, the cops get done, you can just hear them. They are completely out of breath and exhausted. You see, when they, someone applies that uh, pain at, uh, for pain compliance, no matter what, you're going to try to stop the pain. The other thing is, is your body is naturally going to stiffen up. The police, when they do this, are causing the problems. But uh, what I would also want to challenge you to look at and uh, to keep in mind as you watch these uses of force, 
how often was it absolutely, positively necessary to put this person on the ground in the first place? And if you look and, and watch, there's always other opportunities for them to give the uh, person more time to process what's going on, to talk them through it. I was in a uh, Department of Corrections for 15 years. 10 of that was in maximum security. I never had one use of force, which is almost impossible in DOC. I, you know, some of it was dumb luck, but the thing is, is I made my luck. You have uh, officers out there that could easily, in 15 years, have 100 uses of force, which tells you a lot about the officers. But the thing is, is yes, there is a time for the dog pile to take someone down, but it's so very rare. I mean, if there's a guy out on the street on PCP, Angel Dust or whatever, and no longer has control of his mental faculties and is actively trying to hurt someone or whatever, yeah, of course, you know, protect everybody. But how many times have you seen that? I never have. Not once. I have never seen one situation on all the videos that I've reviewed that an officer couldn't have stepped back and taken just a little bit more time, used a little bit more de-escalation, used a little bit more um, tact, um, or uh, used time just to help the person settle down and grasp a hold of what's going on. I've never seen it. So um, the purpose of this is just to let you know that Oh, hey, let me bring up one other thing. Another thing that you see very, very commonly is the officers putting their knees on people's necks in the middle of the back here or in the middle lower back or in the middle of the back. They got both knees sitting there. Okay, I was taught this in the 90s. You never, ever, ever, ever put a knee on anyone except for right on the shoulder here because that will pin down the body. As soon as you have them cuffed up in control, you sit them up. And the reason is that, that um, there's something called sudden custody syndrome. And what happens is, is it's fairly rare, but it does happen. It's something that you have to look for. A lot of times, well, not a lot of times, uh, sometimes in rare instances when someone is cuffed up or whatever else, they will just spontaneously die. But there, there is no medical known reason for this, but they will literally spontaneously die. When you have them laying on their face on the ground, the propensity for that to happen is extreme. You do not ever do that, and every cop knows that. The other thing is, is you see them with their knees on their neck or in the middle of their back or whatever for excessive, I mean, Sometimes 15, 20 minutes? Are you kidding me? Really? The only time you have your your um, knee on, on that shoulder, and it should be the shoulder, is just to gain control, usually just to cuff them up. And the thing is, is if you're that worried about them escaping, put on some leg shackles. Put them in a car. There's all kinds of options. But laying someone face down and putting pressure on their back, these officers know that they are trying to kill these people. There is no other way to put it. And that makes me absolutely, completely irate. So, like I said, go ahead and check out some of these videos and see if there couldn't be just a little bit more time. What you're going to see is officers just itching to go hands-on and rough someone up. This is David Page. Do what's right.